I need to cure people from dyspepsia, so to call my, I just make up a sanitarium, like, <gasps> the Saddle Creek Sanitarium, yeah, I think it's your call, Saddle Creek, yeah, I'm getting to start up the sanitarium, alright, time to get over there. In 1878, Dr. Mario started a health sanitarium, which is in the Saddle Creek. I think we should start a sanitarium. Yeah! Let's get ready for sanitarium. We gotta go up and start building it. Alright, the sanitarium is finished. Now, we gotta make sure we get a lot of patients here. Oh, the patients are coming! Wow! We have gotten, like, a lot of patients here. We've gotten a lot of patients. We gotta start opening up the sanitarium. Now, everyone, extra time! Bulls got here. No sex. No meat. No alcohol, no sugar, no anything, period. Never is not allowed in this area. <clears throat> John Hart, no, or Mario, this story. Mario, Mario, Dr. Mario, he never did fun stuff. He was a boring doctor. Oh, come on. We got new exercising gear. I think I should reach out to my little brother Luigi. So there you are, guys. Dr. Mario Mario decided to reach out to his little brother Luigi Mario, who owned a video game store. Well, Mario just called me to, you know, help him at his sanitarium, his health sanitarium. Uh, it's going to be a horrible job. Well, Luigi. Yeah, Mario. Well, it turns out we're gonna have to make something else to eat because these people don't want to eat that vegetarian stuff. Yeah, I think I should make something. Let's see. What should we make? Hmm, what if we made a type of something about the grain? Yeah, Mario, that's a great idea. We should make it out of grain. We should make this thing out of grain. All right. Get ready to make grain. So, Luigi. Yeah, yeah Mario. Well, what should we make? Like, what if we made something, like, you know, out of, you know, like, what if we made something with cornmeal and oatmeal, and then, then yeah, that's a great idea, we do. So we can start cooking. But we should also add nuts with it, and then bake them in the biscuits. Okay. And what you call them? I don't know, I think we're new. Yeah, I think we should call them new. No, sir. So, in 1887, Mario Luigi Granola. We're changing it to granola. We're inventing granola. My 
yo, we should keep working on the product. Yo, we should. We should. Yeah. Let's see what we can go. All was going well for the world after that. Alright, so we gotta keep making this. Don't 
that if they added sugar to it, they would taste better and sell more. Give me sugar in it. Why? It's not Seventh Day Adventist. Who do you think you are? But John would have. But Mario here, he would have none of it. He didn't want something that he thought so unhealthy added to his creation. The one place he was left untouched for a long time. After selling their foods together for a while, Luigi Mario Celtics got separated from his brother in 1906. But however, after when he had a separation, he got started with his own company. He started with his own company. He bought the rights by buying the rights to the foreign place of Mario. He started with his own company. I think I just had my own company. What did I call it? company, and now you're going to be working here, and we're going to be adding sugar to a lot of our cereals. Yeah, we're going to make millions of dollars. 